Do you want to improve your team's coordination and win more matches? Then it's time to start paying attention to your spacing. In this video, we are going to explore the concept of spacing in CSGO and show you how to position yourself and your teammates for maximum effectiveness on the map. From holding down choke points to taking control of key areas of the map. We'll give you the tips and tricks you need to know to master the art of spacing and dominate your opponents. So get ready to level up your CSGO game and let's get started. Before we go any further, I want to show you guys a clip of a pro team and try to figure out why the spacing is so bad in this clip. And we have three players on the monster side of Brokey collapsed them. Oh. oh dearie me, Nip. Through Carrigan, puts back into a four on four and with how the retakes have been going, eh? I think they're comfortable with this. Rain gets a fight as well, Lexi B goes down. In the end, I will give you the answer. What is spacing? Spacing in CSGO refers to the strategic positioning of players on a team during a match. Good spacing means that each player is positioned in a way that maximizes their effectiveness while minimizing the chance of being caught off guard by the enemy team. Proper spacing involves maintaining a distance between teammates that is close enough to provide support and cover fire, but far enough apart avoid being taken out by a single grenade or enemy attack. It also involves positioning players in areas of the map that correspond to the individual strengths and roles such as placing rifles in areas where they can hold down choke points, or position opers in areas where they have a clear sight lines of the enemy team. Spacing is crucial in CSGO because it allows players to work together more effectively, coordinating their movement and respond quickly to changing situation. Good spacing can mean the difference between winning and losing a match, so it's an important skill for any serious CSGO player to learn. Why is spacing so important in CSGO? Spacing is important in CSGO because it affects several aspects of the gameplay, such as movement, positioning and team coordination. One of the primary reasons why spacing is so important in CSGO is because it impacts the player's movement. CSGO is a fast-paced game that requires players to move quickly and react to changing situations on the fly. Proper spacing helps players to move effectively and avoid bumping into each other, which can slow down the team's movement and make them vulnerable to enemy attack. In addition, spacing also affects players' positioning, which is crucial in CSGO. Players need to position themselves strategically to gain advantage over their enemy. Whether that's by holding a certain angle, controlling a particular area of the map, or setting up for a coordinated attack. Proper spacing helps players to position themselves optimally, making it easier to execute these strategies effectively. Proper spacing helps players to maintain clear line of sight and avoid blocking each other's shots. <laughs> which can be crucial in high pressure situations, where split second decision can mean the difference between victory or defeat. Four main keys to good spacing. Distance refers to how far apart you and your teammate are. If your distance is too close, you will both be caught in the same spray, where if you are too far apart, you will be too slow to trade your teammate. Other thing to add to your distance is as well how far you should be apart when closer distance is better. Let me explain. The position, map control or sight you are taking decides how far apart. In Banana and Inferno, you want to be close to one another since usually an opera is holding the angle while in middle mirage further away will be better since there's so many angles you can be attacked from. So be aware of when to be closer together. Angle. The angle you pick for the spacing is important. Try not to be directly behind your teammate since you will both be hit by the op shot or just are an easy target for a spray down. But if you are too far apart from your teammate, a CT that's peaking can peak you guys one on one and creating it harder to trade. To understand this, you need to understand where the CTs can peak from, as well as how CTs peak in different spots. So be careful about this. A good example is in Overpass, where you are running out of monster. You want one of the players to swing more to the right, where one is swinging closer to the wall. So a nade, op shot or a spray will not be as damaging if you run right behind each other. Dimension of spacing. Spacing is just not made to clear the same angles as your teammates. It is as well to hold and clear angles and spot your teammates can't hold himself while scaling up. To understand this better, your teammate is scaling up on Banana on Inferno. When you get to sight, he wants to clear CT. Your job as the second guy is to focus back sight when he takes the CT fight. If he lose, you need to be close enough to trade him. And if he wins, he can't be traded by the sight player since you are holding it for him. Think it like this, all the weak angles, aka angles your teammate can't clear, is your job to clear for him. Communication is the key to spacing. If you don't know what your mate will pick, you will not know how to trade him. It's a reason you have to call to your teammates whenever they need to trade you or help you, no matter what. Here are some things that are good to call to your teammate for effective spacing and trading. What you're holding, what they should hold, when you want to peek, and explain the goal of what to achieve with the spacing, and a quick game plan to your teammate. So far this guide focuses on the T side of spacing, since it's the most common. But CT as well have a way of spacing, let me explain. 
CT's main spacing revolves just as T with map control. When you take map control as a CT, you need to understand how to space each other so you can trade and win the map control. And for this, just apply all the stuff we talked about in this video for the CT side as well. As well as for retakes, the CT spacing is so important to cover where your teammate can't clear in the retakes, as well as trading effectively. It's the main reason retakes are lost, since the spacing and cover from CT are just so bad. And now over to the clip. Why was this clip so bad? Well, let me explain. So, the first clip was a collat of Brokey. You should not be that close to your teammate when you're running out on sight that an AWP can collat you. One bullet, two kills. You're already down a man. This is just a sign of stress and pressure when you're down 11-2. You can even see it here. Look at this. This is a very common angle. They he get blinded. If they just switch it up a little bit up, Brokey is getting traded. But because their spacing is so bad, this happens. So the reason this is bad, see how many T's there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, all 4 T's are here. Then why? And what I think is Hattrick want to be the guy that's gonna trade Alexi B here. But Hattrick is throwing a smoke and Alexi B is going too fast. You have 38 seconds to play with. And look at this. Even Hattrick even looks here. Looks like he's ready to trade. But due to the range position, he cannot trade from this angle. Rain gets 1. He's already running, you see this is already across, he cannot run back now, they have to scale up. You can even see that he looks and he runs back. And Rain gets a kill for free. And that's why the spacing in these clips are so bad. Hopefully you understood this by watching the video, and keep on watching. How do you practice spacing? Practicing spacing in CSGO requires a combination of game knowledge, communication and teamwork. Here are some tips on how to practice spacing in CSGO. Understanding map control. Understanding the layout of the map and which areas to control is crucial for good spacing. Each map has different areas that offer strategic advantage, so make sure to communicate with your teammate and plan which areas to control. Communication with your team. Effective communication is a key to good spacing in CSGO. Make sure to call out enemy position, share information about your own position, and coordinate movement with your team. Pay attention to your position. Make sure to position yourself in a way that maximizes your effectiveness while minimizing your exposure to the enemy team. Stay by cover, hold angles, and use weapon strengths to your advantage. Practice in a team environment. Spacing is mainly a skill for team CS. You can do this in your pugs, but it's harder. So practice this in a team environment. And here, just focus on communication and how far apart you are while playing with your team. By following these tips and practicing regularly, you can improve your spacing in CSGO and become a more effective player. But remember, good spacing is all about working together as a team and controlling the map. So make sure to communicate and coordinate and dominate. In conclusion, Spacing is an essential aspect of CSGO that impacts gameplay in several critical ways. By maintaining proper spacing, players can move efficiently, position themselves strategically and work together more effectively. Whether you're playing casually or competing at a high level, understanding the importance of spacing and practicing good spacing habits can make all the difference in achieving victory in CSGO. So remember, keep your distance, communicate effectively with your team and master the art of spacing to dominate the game. Thanks for watching.